Hi. So I'm developing a digital assistant for buildings. You may want to develop a digital assistant, a bot, for something else. And you need to know where to start. And one of the great ways to start is to start with conversations. So you build imaginary conversations or conversations that you've observed uh, or have recorded. And these conversations are interactions normally between two people. We can capture those or record those down uh, to create a script. And there is a format that I've been using called Chatdown. And it's an easy format to build the script. But that chat down format can't natively be used in an emulator. So an emulator will then give you a display of what that chat looks like. Just like looking at the messages that you have on WhatsApp or Skype or whatever messaging system that you're using. How do we get from the, the chat down file to a usable script file? Well, I use Visual Studio Code and I also have Node.js loaded and both of those things are free and the Node.js allows me to then install packages so the package that I've loaded is a conversion package that converts chat down files to transcript files and that's called the bot framework uh, uh, command line interface tools and they're very easy to find and the next part of this video is about how I've used them and just to give you an illustration of how you might use them and if it works for you, then fantastic. And if it doesn't, you want to do it somewhere, some other way, that's okay. This is Visual Studio Code. And I'm assuming that you've got this all set up and that you've loaded the Bot Framework chat down module through Node Package Manager. And we've set it up so that we can create and generate transcripts for using in the bot emulator and the way that we've done that is we've created chat files using a format called chat down and it's a very simple format you basically have a declaration at the top of the user and the bot and then the rest of the dialogue is the interaction between the two what you can do with the interaction with the bot coming back is create hero cards or thumbnail cards or other adaptive types of cards which basically enable you to format information. So it's relatively straightforward. Now once you've completed the chat file you then have to convert it to a transcript and that's where the bot framework um, chat down uh, command lines are uh, useful because it's going to be very difficult to do it otherwise and I've just created my little cheat sheet here for converting files so you have an input and you must be pretty careful to ensure that you cover the path to make sure you get the file that you want and then output it to the file you want as well. Uh, the, we've set it up with dialogues and transcripts because the emulator can find these files quite easily when you're doing up lots and lots of updates. So once you've done that, it will create a file that looks like this. And this is obviously something you do not want to write by hand but that is the format that the emulator will require. And you can see here how it will reply back with this uh, JSON format that will then get rendered in a card. And you'll see how that works in a moment as we move forward. So now we're in the bot framework emulator and we're going to go to file open transcript load up our transcript file and now it will render the whole of that conversation in the left hand window so we'll move to the top and in the right hand window we've got two things going on here we've got the message and it delays so those are all the interactions that happen between the 
bot interface and the application at the other end. So these are the, this is the dialogue that it has. To us, we're interested in this. So it starts out and says, Tim, how can I help you? And I'm asking the question, how many times did we use the dishwasher last week? So at the other end, it has to work out what my intent is, is that I'm interested in a usage of an appliance called dishwasher and I'm interested about it being last week. So it works that out and it will look at logs to do that are being recorded about power usage. I won't go into details about that. I then ask the question, what does it cover? Or what does that cover? So the context here is about time. So it will tell me, and it told me last week, five times last week. So it'll say, well, last week is these dates. So that's what that's about. And now I'm saying, what's the warranty? So the context here is we're still talking about the dishwasher. So it comes back and tells me that the dishwasher warranty expired three years ago for both parts and labor. And that information is determined from information that we have about the duration of warranty for parts and labor and when the, that warranty actually started. But instead of giving me dates, I've used a humanizer on the other side so it can come back and tell me as if I was speaking to a person rather than saying it expired on the 30th of June 2000 and, uh, 2017 or whatever. Now I'm saying, what about the washing machine? Now the washing machine, so we're changing from the context of the dishwasher to the washing machine. And it's saying, are you still interested in warranty? So I'll tell you about that. Now I'm saying, where is it? So it says, oh, you're still thinking about the washing machine. So I'll tell you where the washing machine is. And I've done a hero card here. So if I click on that, you can see the JSON that uh, was from me, or what he went to. Uh, we got the conversation, attachments, and it just keep drilling down. So we can see there, there's how all the information's come back. Okay, so I then say, what kind of product is it? Is it? So it says, right, you need to know, you're asking about the details. So I've got a hero card here that then puts a picture in and also allows me to go for more details. I'm not going to, I haven't clicked on that. And now I've swapped and said, what about the oven? So it still says, all oh, right, okay, you want to know about the details on the oven. And then I say, where is it? And so you go on about the conversation. And that's a nice, easy way of prototyping out how you would want something to look and feel to be able to pass on to the developers to be able to then work out how that actually all gets managed using whatever framework that they want to use. Thank you.